Welcome to Making a Difference, the World of Giving. I'm Lisa Dietlin, and today we're going to talk about how you can be a philanthropist. Yes, many people when they hear that word, philanthropist, think that it's only the super wealthy that can be that type of person. But I'm here to tell you today about things you can do in your everyday life and actions to make a difference and be a philanthropist. The first thing I recommend to folks is to set a charitable budget annually. Think about at the beginning of the year, what do you really care about? Do you, is there a golf outing you always go to? Is there a school carnival that you usually attend? Is there an arts and craft fair that you usually participate in? Set a charitable budget, but leave a little bit of room for those unexpected requests that come from friends and family members and coworkers. The second thing I would say is see if you can weave into your life every single day an act of kindness that makes a difference. And what do I mean by that? I mean do something that makes a difference. It could be smiling at a person as you walk down the street. It could be picking up a piece of trash that you find on the ground or a leftover newspaper and disposing of it properly. It could be when you're at the post office purchasing a book of stamps that you purchase an extra book of stamps and put it in an envelope and send it to your favorite nonprofit organization. When you're walking by a meter and it's about to expire or has expired, Put in a few coins to help that person to make a difference. You could pay the toll of the person in the car behind you or the dry cleaning bill of the person in line behind you. There are so many ways to make a difference. You know, I love to grocery shop and I love to coupon shop. And it's amazing. When you start using coupons, always more seem to come. And I love being in the grocery store and getting a coupon from the register and turning immediately to the person behind me and saying, could you use this? And their face lights up as if they can't believe that somebody would be that kind to do that. I also commit myself daily to writing a piece of personal correspondence to someone. Do you know how rare it is to get a letter in the mail? I try to do that every single day with awards that I see people receive or congratulatory notes on accomplishments or if they've lost somebody in their life. I try to make it a point every single day to write a handwritten note to somebody saying, I'm thinking of you and trying to make a difference in their life. You know, there are many, many ways you can make a difference. Nonprofit organizations need so many things every single day. When my staff orders a box of reams of paper, I often encourage them to think about a nonprofit organization we'd like to support and let's order an extra box of paper and have it delivered to that nonprofit organization. When nonprofit organizations are operating, they need coffee, they need creamer, sugar, coffee filters, Kleenex, toilet paper, paper towels, the list goes on and on and on. Do you have those things in your home? Or when you're shopping, could you pick them up? It really doesn't hurt your budget and deliver them to your favorite nonprofit organization. There are so many ways each day that you can make a difference, or as we like to say, can you be mad? This is Lisa Deedland.